fork in the road and you were just smiling you're beaming it must have something to do with being able to go all the different farmers markets well it has so much to do with all the farmers markets okay Lou I went on uh, Saturday you guys know that yes and the produce that I have today isn't from farmers market because I ate everything that no I you did not <laughs> which you kind of recommend is like get things that you're gonna basically consume yes. over the week that's why you get it you don't want it to sit on the counters or in your fridge but let's just say we're not all as diligent <laughs> as you are and we did it we have enjoyed, you know, whether we're going to Valley Junction or Bondurant or downtown, and we see some beautiful things like you brought into our kitchen this morning, but we haven't used them up. How can we make sure they're staying as beautiful as these items you brought in today? Well, it really depends on what it is we're talking about. Okay. Because if I if we treated them all the same, it, we'd have a catastrophe. Different on our results. Hands. Yeah. Right. Yes, exactly. So let's let's just look at some of the different options that we have, and you can ask me questions about specific ones, and I can tell you how to, how you treat them, or I can just jump right in what would you like to do well uh, why don't we can just start on one side and go all yeah, the right, way across because this is what people are really looking forward to uh beginning of the season when farmers markets open yep a fresh asparagus yeah and for those that have established uh, established asparagus patches uh they are coming up and they're coming up big time yeah they are and so let's eat them with abundance and recklessness right <laughs> so what i like to do is i bring them home and i'll put them into a container i like to use plastic in the refrigerator because if it's in a glass container because it's got water Water in the bottom. If you tip it over, there's a chance that the water's going to go everywhere, the glass is going to break, and oh, whatnot. Oh, so, I didn't think okay. about that. Yeah, yeah so that I'm sense. really cautious. Most of the time, you know, you're going to hear me advocate for glass and uh, not use plastic, mm -hmm. but in that particular case, it's just dangerous. And here's how I know <laughs> I've done it because okay. it's happened. Yeah. Okay, it's happened. <laughs> exactly. But so these tall containers like this, if you don't have these tall containers like this, what we end up using is we use some uh, like food, old food containers instead of throwing them away or yeah. recycling them, hang on to them, wash them out, and then use them like for. For if you use mail or anything like that, or salsa in a big in a big uh, canister like this, yes. they work perfectly. Perfectly. So when you get your asparagus home, cut off an inch from the bottom, mm -hmm. just like when you get fresh flowers. Same yeah. concept. P place them in the water. Then what I do is oftentimes I'll put a plastic over the top. Depends oh, on. Oh really? Yes. Yeah, so I might like do a shower this. curtain. Oh, or I didn't yes. shower cap. That. Shower caps work as well. Oh, okay. And you put the plastic over the top, and that helps keep the keep it fresh. The keeps moisture the tips. in. Yes. Okay. And then. And the same thing goes for cilantro too. Yep. If you turn Turn that around, Lou. We can see that um, I've also done that. And these two can cohabitate. If you've got room in, in the ah, same container, stick them in the same container. Why not? Let's have at it. So, and you've got this little little uh, nice bouquet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does that go for all like herbs like that? So we're talking cilantro, maybe yeah. parsley. Yeah, mix it up. Now okay. that's not the case with some fruits and vegetables. Okay. We know that we don't mix oftentimes fruits and vegetables together. You've heard that bananas will oftentimes um, off gas and whatnot make things. Uh, ripen more quickly, right. we are going to need to be careful with that. So let's talk about root vegetables, and we can group those into categories. So root vegetables would be carrots and beets. They grow with, um, if you buy Some them fresh at Farker, Farmer's Market, right, they've got their leaves and greens. What you want to do when you get these home is cut about to about an inch above the the uh, root. Okay, cut see, I, I was I was mistaken. I was going to cut the actual carrot itself, but uh, cut above cut it. Cut huh? a root. Uh, okay. Yep, because you don't want to uh, puncture the flesh. It lets air in. It will decompose faster. Right. So just leave an inch. Got it. Store I'm these. I'm glad you're doing this. I'm glad you're reviewing this. Oh, good. So store these separately. If you're going to use the tops, um, beet greens are just cook them up just like spinach. They're mm -hmm. really tasty and really wonderful. And then the beets and the carrots keep themselves for months. Just okay. Keep and them and the same thing. Just cut it above the root vegetable. Cut above itself. the root. Yep, okay. Exactly. Got it. Okay, I'm glad do you we said throw that. them in the fridge, or what do we do? With in them? the fridge, I put them in the crisper drawer again okay. the, with the two items separated. In a bag or out, or just open? I put them in a bag. Okay. I like to keep them so keep yeah. the air off. Collard greens is another one. I like to cut the stems off because there's the stems make them big. They take up too much space in the refrigerator. Then I just roll them up in those plastic uh, tie bands that you get at the store. Right. Yeah. I just keep it like this, and now all of a sudden you've got a lot less space being occupied in your refrigerator, so it makes it's a lot it keeps more it efficient. Too, exactly. Yeah. Fruits, I keep my um, melons on the counter until I feel like they start to smell fragrant. Mm -hmm. If I'm not, that would be a good time to eat them. Mm -hmm. If I'm not going to eat them then, what I do is put them right in the fridge. I put those also in the crisper drawer, remember, away from the vegetables because okay. we don't want to keep them separated. Okay. Cucumbers. 
They're very rich in water. They, that means they're going to freeze really quick. Right. Don't let them get too cold. If you've got a side by side, keep them away from the freezer side and off of the glass shelf. Okay. Okay. Got it. Mushrooms. We need to be concerned about moisture with those. I store them in a, a paper bag okay. within the refrigerator. Got it. Keeps them fresh. Potatoes on the counter, not in the fridge. Not in the fridge. Tomatoes, same thing. Oh, they're supposed to be on the counter? Yeah. Oh, okay. I keep tomatoes. I, we have an issue. No. You and I will yeah. we'll come to fish. I say cup. fridge. You, <laughs> I say, say. you say counter. Okay. <laughs> right, but okay. I say potato. Okay. Well, <laughs> what, what if you have cut them and you're, you're saving half of it? Can you put Of course. Then you would refrigerate. Okay. Okay. Not, and, and, but, but eat it. Don't cut it and save it. Just eat, eat it. it. It's a, eat the darn it's fruits thing. and vegetables. Let's do that. <laughs> so um, we've also got garlic and ginger. Garlic, I see a lot of people putting in the refrigerator. I think that's a mistake. I think that really, it, that, that's what I do too. But I'm finding out that if you put it in the refrigerator, it dries out the garlic. It does. Yeah. So exactly. So I leave that on the counter, but I do refrigerate ginger. Mm -hmm. So the two of them, people oh. use interchange, or they'll talk about them interchangeably, but they treat differently when we store them. Right. Okay. And remember, okay. there's a, a nice little trick for garlic to peel it. You put it in a container with a lid on it and yeah. shake it back and forth, and it'll and it takes peel all itself. the peels right, off. Right. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fresh garlic is great. So let's say we are very diligent. We follow all of your advice, but we. We just see some of our amazing produce and it just is starting to not look the greatest. Oh, what is your recommendation? Is there any bounce back that we can get <laughs> off of these guys? Yes, the first thing that you want to do is eat it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so so if it's starting Use to it. go, cut off the bad spots, boil, um, broil, grill, whatever it is you're going to do, use it first. The second thing that you could do would be to freeze. So that would mean cut off the bad spots, cut it up into pieces, freeze it, and use it for later. And then the third thing would be compost. Let's oh, don't sure. let this go in the garbage. If yeah. it go, and, and then the next time, don't buy less. Buy and make a bigger commitment that you're going to not let it go bad. Okay. I just really quickly want your opinion on berries before we go. Yeah. If you, because I feel like as much as, as diligent I, as I am about buying and also eating berries, there's always seems to be some containers that go bad. How do you feel if you start seeing some like strawberries or raspberries go bad? Do you need to toss the entire container or can you just toss the ones that you see go bad? Always take the bad apple or strawberry or whatever mm -hmm. out of the bunch. <laughs> I've got a hack for you. Yeah, bring some berries over here, real quick. Okay. The <laughs> band brought some berries. Her, her, real fast here. Come here. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they did. Here they go. Here's some fresh berries for you. Here you oh, go. I love okay. that. Yes, but, but thank it's one you. of those things like I've, I've heard two philosophies on this that if you start seeing some because they're touching and things like that, you have to toss the whole No, container. I don't touch. I take out the bad ones and then and wash the others. Okay. I'll give you a quick berry hack. Yeah. Um, one part vinegar, white vinegar, uh, four parts water. Rinse them before you put them in the fridge. Dry right. them off good. It'll help them stay really? back longer. So, okay. Perfect. So put a little vinegar in there. That's, yes. that's what it. I'm yeah. missing. Yep. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Thank you very Got much. It. Amazing hacks this morning to help you <laughs> with some fabulous products produce that you're able to get now courtesy of all of our amazing farmers markets. So if people have questions for you, maybe they have some tips and tricks they want to share with you or you can share with them, what's the best way to get in touch with you? Well, why don't you visit fork-road.com or email me at info at fork-road.com. Happy to answer your questions. That works. Thank Love you, it. Sherry. Yeah, you Perfect. Bet. All righty.